and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman, and now we're kicking it in the studio with the Joel P.E. King <laughs> and the Kendra C. Johnson. How do you know these two? Well, you know Joel because he is a writer and a director and an actor, and we know Kendra because you've seen her either on TV already, not just here at STL TV, but on <laughs> BET and also on national commercials as well. So she's got an She's out there. And now they're here talking about issues of love, which is what you're bringing the love to St. Louis. Yes. All right. <laughs> talk about the show. Well, that, you know what? Right. No, we're not. We're not going to talk about the show. We want to talk about you all first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite time. That's right. right. That's all I'm saying. That's what we got. We got all kinds of time. Yeah. So first of all, you know, we talked a little bit of background about how you're a writer and the director and right. for sure for issues of love and then also an actor. Talk about um, your roots here in St. Louis and then how you got into that and what are the things you've been involved okay. in. Okay. We'll do. I can do that. All those things. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I'm actually originally from East St. Louis. Okay. Uh, Washington Park. Charlie Park. As, um, Woo woo. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I, uh, you know, lived out there for years, then went to SIUE, yeah. uh, study under Lisa Covert, the late Lisa Covert Bandelli, and Bill Gribna, and a whole lot of other people, uh, Kathy Bentley, and all these other wonderful people. So from there, 2003, I decided, hey, let me go ahead and make some money. That was the initial thought. Right. And then when I wrote this first play, it was called The Mother's Cry, and then I realized that, you know what, something else comes behind this because people are actually being healed and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, oh, I guess I got some other purpose behind this. So I ate it and then kept going. But the acting thing came back, you know, I've been doing church plays and stuff like that since until about 1998 when I had my first professional gig with the St. Louis Opera Theater doing Joshua Boots, and yes. Uh, <laughs> so yes, I'm a bit of a classical artist yeah. as well. And uh, all the greats do, you know. Absolutely, that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's too much. Too much. Right. So after after that, I uh, did more studying at SIUE, and then from SIUE, I did work with the Black Repertory Theater, Unity Theater, and uh, Jatana Productions. A lot of different shows, my art productions and stuff yeah. like that and then I just started doing my own so I've not been doing as much acting outside of uh, commercials here and there um, some one-man show. one man show yes really? that one yes they call it deeper shade of blues and then I've also done um, some um, some independent films and things like that around St. Louis. I can tell Kendra's yeah. a fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and speaking of fans. She's my friend. She, you know what? My friend. <laughs> friend. Friend. <laughs> you know, and you speaking of fans, you got quite a fan base too, given what, you know, working on Fat Girls on BET and the mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Couple. You know? <laughs> 32,000 hits on uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm really excited about that. I have this national IHOP <laughs> commercial, right? Yeah. And so the first day it came out, first of all, I was here in St. Louis, which was really a great feeling. When we were here, um, I did, we did this show, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about later, but back in August, mm -hmm. the morning after it closed, I get a call from the stage manager. And I was like, really? The show is over. Right. Can I sleep this <laughs> right. morning? Can I just? <laughs> right. So I didn't answer. Right up late. <laughs> Text me if you really want to get a hold of me. Yeah, Sorry, tell Kevin. Tell me what you need. Right. But, um, She's been on it. I, I'm very, full disclosure. Full disclosure. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Phrase. Anyway, um, but so then he texts me and he's like, wake up, your commercial's on. Da, 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 da. So everybody was seeing it. So I saw it for the first time here um, in St. Louis. But then I go onto YouTube and there were like, I, and I became addicted to checking the views every day. Oh, to see how many people are. But now I'm up to, I'm past 32,000, thank you. That's big. I'm, I'm well in the 34,000. And going into it, you didn't have any goals of YouTube. No, I mean, I, I just wanted to see it because I, I am very comfortable watching myself on, good. on film, mm. TV and everything. I actually mm -hmm. enjoy it. That's, so. That's good. <laughs> So anyway, so I just wanted to go see it, but then I just got really hooked into the views thing and mm -hmm. it's been a little addicting. You know what, speaking of that, um, you may have heard me mention earlier, and I'm gonna do it one more time for all of you out there. You can see this interview with Kendra C. Johnson and Joel P.E. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube as many times as you want. We're gonna top the 32,000 views the high hop commercial got. 
that so, far. <laughs> you know, this, if you want more information, we're going to talk to you more about Issues of Love, the production that these two have partnered on. And we're going to tell you a little bit more about a very special guest who's going to be performing with them in October. Yes. Um, so keep it right here. If you want to keep up with all the things that are going on around St. Louis, you can friend us on Facebook and mention the YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe to that YouTube channel. We're on Twitter. And then, of course, we're streaming live on stltv.net. Don't go anywhere. Be sure to tell your friends. And welcome back to STL TV Live. You're joining the fun here. I'm Ivy Hartman, and we're with writer, director Joel P.E. King and actress Kendra C. Johnson, and they're here really not to talk about themselves. Right, right. <laughs> and, <Why>? the, and the <laughs> St. Louis connections. We talked a little bit about that. Um, Joel grew up in East St. Louis, and actually Kendra, ironically enough, has family living here in St. Louis, so it's great to have you guys here, bringing yeah. issues of love to the St. Louis community. You yeah. wrote this, you directed it, you actually acted in this production a little bit, didn't you? Mm -mm. No? Not at all. <laughs> that three hats was not enough. Two was playing. <laughs> right, right, right. Just he just acted do that. during rehearsal. Right. And I it up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and Kendra, you play one of the starring, the starring roles in the one, play. One of. One it, of. It, it's an ensemble Please. cast. Yes. I love my sisters in theater. <laughs> um, but yeah, one of the, one of the lead women yes. in the in the show. Issues of love. Now, I know that you talked about before the break, Joel, about mm -hmm. how writing um, mm -hmm. and, and really this gift you have is more than about making money. It's about yeah. sharing a story. And Absolutely. talk about issues of love and how that Yeah, it's, it's about sharing a story. And um, I guess, as my mother would say, not to be all churchified, but, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a, the minister within myself, like this is my ministry. Like it's all about helping and healing. And because I have a lot of friends, a lot of family, and a lot of people have uh, spoken to me over the years and for whatever counseling or just sure. advice or just, right. I just need you to, as a sounding board, whatever. And from that I had, I'm not going to say I was thought to utilize these things later on in life, <laughs> you know, but no, but uh, somehow in the process of that I realized the importance of having something that can be uh, like a consistent answer of what to do and entertainment kind of does that for me because I'm able to write it out. I, and my, my friend and I are, are processing of, of, of befriending and, and becompanying each other, be partnering. Business and friendship. <laughs> right. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, what's happening is this whole thing about full disclosure. She can, you know, that's, that's, our, that's our key phrase for the, so for the week. So that you can keep this good relationship of friendship and working yeah. relationship right. going on. Right. Absolutely, right. But, it, but in that process, just learning how to do a total release because I, I'm not really a, a vocal person in that way. I, I write my thoughts. My, well, in a, not too much. <laughs> yeah. In a sense, the most of my true thoughts come on in, in, in my writing because I'm so abstract of a speaker sometimes. You don't know this right now. Well, here we, we, we're learning. We're learning. We asked him to talk about the play, and he's talking All about. All we know so far is it's called oh, Issues of Love. Yeah. <laughs> and he wrote it and directed it. And, but we okay. can see that it does have some derivative of real life right. and, and your experiences. Absolutely. Because what happened, well, okay, the, the, the back story of Issues of Love was I was commissioned to do that for a theater group in Arkansas. Oh, really? And so I started off doing it that way. And then from uh, that, they uh, went in, in another direction, which was totally fine, because I told them, if you guys don't use it, I'm going to use it, whatever. So we got here, went to L.A., and, and, wow. and life was getting beautiful and good and meeting great people <laughs> <laughs> and then so um the producer uh, my co-producer Dwayne Best uh, called me asked me about doing the show or whatever what show I would like to do so he and I partnered up and then here we are with Issues of Love so Issues of Love is a compilation of different love stories told in like different homes and a lot of it goes to this whole sense of infidelity but really it, it goes to a center of self that people need to redefine and, and reconstruct in order to get to the center of the problem. Speaking of uh, the center what? of self, Kendra, okay. you found a whole other side of yourself God. doing this production. <laughs> Not only the friendship that came with business, but uh, you've seen Kendra do you know some acting on television mm. and, and movies, but she sings. Did you know that? <laughs> 
And she didn't know that until she, she did Issues of Love. And so it's not a musical, but this original music was all part yeah. of your brain. Mm -hmm. So having said that, even if it's not about the singing, what's your favorite thing about Issues of Love? <laughs> Besides my husband. <laughs> no, yeah. um, oh, he hates that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, I guess I'd have to say, honestly, my favorite thing about working on this project was seeing the work from the paper, from the script, how he, in his amazing genius directorshipness, that's enough. Um, you know, brought it to the stage, and 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 and, and there were times because we, he's not vocal, but I am. Right. And and we fight. No. Absolutely. <laughs> and and if I don't understand it, you got to make me understand. Like I have to see it. I have to be there with you. So there's the drama in the rehearsals. <laughs> oh and yeah. And then there's the drama oh, during the scene. performances. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, but he but he um but he's done a great job of helping me to come to myself and trust him. Trust him as a director. I'll tell you what, speaking of the drama behind the scenes, we're going to take a little peek at some of that when we come back after this. And also, we've got a really special announcement for you because they've got a brand new celebrity joining the cast coming up in, in next week's performances, which are taking place at the Grandel Theater, October 21st through the 23rd. It's showtimes, Friday and Saturday, you've got an 8 o'clock. On Saturday, you've also got a 3 o'clock in addition to the 8 p.m. show. And Sunday, you've got a matinee at 3 p.m. For information, call 598-5439 or log on to jpek.net. You'll find also more information at jpek.net about your other productions and things you've been involved Absolutely. in. All right, so don't go anywhere. We've got some really special announcements coming up after this. And to keep up with, to date with all kinds of other special announcements going on in St. Louis, who's the first to know? STL TV. That we bring you the best. Look, it's evident. So you can either friend us on Facebook, <laughs> follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you know we're always streaming live on stltv.net. We'll be right back. Because. Issues of Love, it's an amazing, amazing production uh, produced by myself, Dwayne T. Best. It's written and directed by Joel P. King. This guy's genius. He's a, he even wrote the, the songs in it. It stars Kendra C. Johnson for BT The Game. She is amazing, let me tell you. But she, you know, she has a lot of her own issues of love that she's dealing with from her childhood and growing up. But she has this incredible husband who is everything that so many women could want and, 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 and need it. And she hasn't quite yet grasped that, but she will. Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Got an opening act, get it closed. You got this one? Which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? Oh, no. here in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we've sold out two nights, and you know, two nights, opening night and the ending night. People are just bananas about it. about it. We're also going to do Issues of Love in concert because the music is so ridiculous. So. City near you, make sure you check it out. www.dwaynebest.com. We're coming.
God bless. <laughs> And welcome back. You are watching STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman, and you just saw the promo for Issues of Love, and we're talking with the writer and director himself, Joel P.E. King, P. E. King, and we're talking with this one of the stars of the... Listen, don't put so many letters in your name. <laughs> She didn't mean that, Mom King. She didn't mean that. She loves that he has all those letters. It is. It is the Joel P.E. King and the Kendra C. Johnson joining us here in the studio talking about issues of love. Now, we got to see a little bit of the promo. Now, mm -hmm. in case you didn't realize that, obviously that was done here in St. Louis back in August. We're reopening the show just for you guys here in St. Louis next week, October 21st to 23rd. Mm -hmm. And really the idea is this is going to take off nationally and internationally, and we want your support, St. Louis. Absolutely. And so the show is opening October 21st to 23rd, but there's something new. If you saw the show in August, <laughs> you're gonna wanna see it again in October. Yeah, absolutely. Why? The new show. Why, Kendra, tell us why. why. Well, because the foundation is still there, mm -hmm. but we have a new friend joining us. He is a good yes, friend. Yes, <laughs> he is. He's a wonderful friend, we love him. Um, he's one of St. Louis, his own. Yeah. yeah. St. Louis his own. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Um, Isaac Keys. Mm -hmm. He's former NFL player. Um, a lot of people have seen him on the TV One reality show, uh, Ultimate Merger, mm -hmm. the first one that Omarosa did. Um, and he's really taken off with his modeling and acting career. He's like the McCafe man for McDonald's Aww. for their little thing, their McCafe, yes. the drinks. Yes. <laughs> um, and he's so wonderful. We love him. We love him. Yes. Um, we all got together in LA and kind of decided to collaborate and do this. And um, and he's not taking anyone's place in the show. No. Nope. Hmm. There's a new character. Yes. Oh, interesting. I had yes. no idea. Yeah. Yes. And the, a, new, a whole new story there. <laughs> Any new songs? Did you have to learn? Actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does Isaac sing? Yes. Good. Yes, really? yes. Yes. Well, there you go, folks. I'd spend the money to go see <laughs> Kendra sing, and I'll see Isaac and Kendra together singing um, in Issues of Love. Yes. Now, you guys talk about, we've been talking about, you can tell there's some camaraderie here. So, friendship going on, especially mm -hmm. between the three of you guys and um, the business success as well as your friendship success. How do you, how, I mean, were you friends before, or this all kind of came about over no. this project? I never knew this woman. And I don't yeah. know him now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the funny thing about it is that I, I feel like I got this, this sixth sense, or whatever you want to call it. Like, I saw her in Fat Girls, and I've seen her different shows, and I've been attracted to her for a very long time in that way. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, you know, if there are one of the people I would like to meet, she would be one of the people that I would like to meet. Mm -hmm. And so, here it is. Yeah. Oh, I take it from here? <laughs> <laughs> so we have a mutual friend who introduced us in Los Angeles, um, in a beach house on the marina. Yeah. <laughs> Long story short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving, she, yeah. she wakes up, Joel is <laughs> hanging out there, no. It, they, they all were friends, they kind of yeah. came together fortuitously. If you want to find out more information about their friendship, listen. <laughs> Check Kendra out. She's on MySpace. She's on YouTube. You know it. She's all over. No, we're, this friendship has been blossoming. Yeah. I feel like I'm part of the team in some little, small sense. You are. You are. And you can be a part of this team, too. Go see the show October 21st to the 23rd at the Grandel Theater. You can catch a show on Friday and Saturday nights at 8 o'clock. You want a matinee? We've got one on Saturday at 3 and one on Sunday at 3. For information, call 598-5439 and or log on to jpek.net. St. Louis, we love your support. Hey, we want to thank you guys for coming and supporting the show. And then STL TV for being here. Yeah, yes. we love STL TV. Yay! <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. And if you want to have more fun with us, all you've got to do is friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you know, we stream all this funness on stltv.net. Keep it locked right here. I've got a few more events coming your way in just a minute.